Howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here and Soup Chef Brad. He's putting the finishing touches on uh, the chicken cabbage soup uh, that we started last night. Uh, you know, um, I'll I'll go into that in a minute. It is. How you like the little graphic? That would be appropriate because it is October 1st, 2016, Saturday afternoon. 1 15 p.m. and now I will shut off the gravity because I know they can get very annoying very quickly. Um, uh, it is 80 degrees. Real fill is 86. Um, high will be 84. The low will be 60. So it's a cooler day out. It's nice out. Let me do my cheat notebook here. Let's see. Yesterday I ended up taking a much longer nap than I intended to. About a two and a half hour nap. You know how you go for a long time, and I know so many of us fight being able to sleep. So you go for a really long time not sleeping, and then all of a sudden it just hits you. That's what happened yesterday. It just hit me, and I went down for the count. And um, uh, so I did not get to exercise yesterday. Um, what did we? Oh, I know why. Why I didn't in the morning is you might want to hang on to that in case we need it again. Okay. Um, is uh, we were having air conditioning problems, and I talked I talked about that yesterday. Um, we thought maybe it was fixed. It's not. It is blowing better, but um, I don't know if the if does it have Freon in it. I have no idea. But whatever it is, it's just not keeping it cool. If you just want you know to circulate some air from the outside, it's fine. Um, but otherwise, no, it's not. So. Um, we were messing with that, and it was a hotter day and stuff, so I just, I just didn't get to, and like I said, sometimes that happens, I like to exercise six days a week, but then if I miss a couple, it's okay, and so I got in a total of four days this week, which I'm happy with, yes, last week was five, this week was four, um, I did just get done doing the seated exercises, and I'll go into that in a moment. Um, but, um, then I had my soup for lunch, and then I had, um, some barbecue chicken. I cut it up and put it on my salad. Had a great big salad. Brad was down fishing. He caught one small sailfish, and then, did you catch a bunch of hard heads or no? It was a top sail cap. I know, but did you catch any hard heads? I caught a few. Too? It was it was weird last night. Was it weird? Yeah. Why so? Oh, they were just they were really biting, not like they normally do. Really? Yeah. Like just hardly. Yeah, they just barely hit, but mm -hmm. then I had some that really slammed it. It was just like I said, it's hard to describe, but it mm -hmm. was weird the way it was going. So he came he came back about an hour and a half later. I asked him why he was back so soon. He said because he was missing me. <laughs> he's funny. He goes down fishing, he, but he'll be texting me. Well, he's down fishing. <laughs> or sometimes he goes outside, but he'll still text me. <laughs> or I'm up on the roof, and then I call you. He's a stalker. He's my stalker. Yeah. That's what you are. Um, so, uh, you know, I did do some looming. Uh, I mean, got a little bit combosled here. Combosled something. Mm -hmm. Something here. <laughs> Let me see. I had my stuff kind of fell. You know, we have stuff stacked because you have to in here. So, um, but anyway, so I'm over half the way on this. Let's see, on this hooded cowl. See how beautifully it variegates. And then I don't know if you can see because I've got a lot of backlight, but like this went into the. No, you can't really see. This went into the red. Trust me, it did. And then. So I'm starting the second half, and it's in the red now. So that's going to be very pretty. Um, uh, this, I think, I'm making as a gift for a family member. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it'll be real nice. Um, so I'm doing that. Um, but you can always order your own uh, in whatever color um, on Etsy. I haven't listed the image of. And they'll be made to order yet, but I will. Um, uh, haven't been getting any orders really on Etsy lately, so I guess I, I haven't really been pushing it as much. I need to, though, because like I said, we need to earn the money so we can um, get the Jeep retagged. Uh, we have we have 
a dog in, in timeout right now because she was being naughty. Thank you, baby. That helped so much. Yes. Um, uh, because we need to earn the money to retag the Jeep, and, and I will. Um, you know, uh, my friend Marnie gave me the most beautiful shout out. She showed some of my knitwear and stuff that I had sent her. Um, she did a whole video yesterday, honey. Uh huh. And, and thank you to all my new subscribers. I picked up quite a few new subscribers since yesterday, so welcome, welcome, welcome. And thanks to Marnie. Cause and thank you, she, Marnie. That was so nice of she you. She had a lot to do with yeah, that. Yes, she did. Um, and I really, really appreciate that. Like I said, I just got done doing my exercises. <coughs> I'm on the seated exercises stage one, uh, episode two, and I will have the link below for you if you want to check it out. And stuff it is for people that are, uh, you know, obese or have mobility problems or, or, or elderly. It's a low impact uh, set of exercises that works all your body parts. And, and it's very nice. And today I use, uh, you can use bands or you, you can use soup cans or, you know, any kind of cans or nothing at all. Today it was the first day I used cans and that did, you could tell the difference and stuff. Um, the only difference between episode one and episode two is they've been increased the rack by one. So, um, but you know, it makes you feel good. Um. But this morning when we got up and went outside to take the dogs out and do their business, um, we decorated for Halloween, which was fun. Um, Brad had gotten, had grabbed a bag of Halloween stuff, a big, you know, one of those vacuum uh, bags uh, that I had in storage. Um, and um, so I was able, to, I, I got three of the, the big heads outside. One's in a planter because he was on a stake anyway. And then a couple others we jammed up on the awning and, and stuff. And then I have a little shrunken head that I have outside also. And then we have, like, enter your own riff. And then we have, like, this whole menu thing that that's out there, too. Uh, you know, like, spooky and, and stuff like that. It's a cute little sign. Um, and then, you know, I have a couple little zombie hands coming out of... of, of pots and then um we have a light a, a pumpkin that lights up um you know he looked like a card pumpkin um and uh uh then we have i had bought some bright pink almost purple led there's a string of they're, they're like balls and i had them and you know they were super super cheap so um these are like five dollars, and it's probably what a twenty foot strand or a fifteen foot strand. I think it's a fifteen foot. And uh, so we put it out on the awning, and uh, so that won't use much electricity since it's LED light, and they stay nice and cool. And I had bought at at Dollar Tree. If you guys, remember if if I'm talking about the menu sign, um, you'll see it in that Dollar Tree haul. But we'd also bought um a big bat, uh. Well, I mean, not huge, but, you know, like that. And it's on, you know, a string. And so we hung that and also a great big spider like that. So it looks nice and Halloween-y, not overdone, still very functional and stuff. Like I said, we put the one potted uh, plant of um, mint by the door. And uh, and that's got the... Um, head on a stake and then I've got a couple little tombstones by it that I had that I had bought and, and all of this stuff is mainly besides the heads and the shrunken heads and the lights all and and the pumpkin all the rest of it is is Dollar Tree stuff it's not anything you know but I wanted to show you guys I'll show you guys a few pictures see if you can see them or not um uh here's my my head outside on the stake uh, with the two little tombstones, those little ceramic tombstones. Here's my another head, and then that menu thing hanging below it. Yeah, on our motorhome. <laughs> I just wedged him up there, you know. And here's one of my little zombie hands. And these are actually were tongs that you got at um, Dollar Tree. It was, you know. They weren't attached, so I put them in there. Here's another head, and then my shrunken head. 
And let me see. Ah, here's it. My do not enter that we put on the front door. I think that's it. But on this picture, if you see, you see that pink, those pink balls? That's those lights. So, yeah. So, and they're kind of purple when they're lit. So, that look neat. Because the last night we were, or a couple of days ago, two days ago, we went to Walmart. We were looking at lights. <coughs> My only one, if I was going to get any lights, I only wanted to get one strand. And what I really wanted to get was just clear because I wanted to be able to use them at Christmas time also. I don't want to have a bunch of decoration for um, that are all sitting around because, again, with limited space. And also, I didn't want to have buy extra strands of, of bolts and stuff. What I really wanted was just a clear set. Well, they didn't have it. You know, they had just, they had like green, I think, orange, and purple. And I just didn't want to do that. And, and then we were talking about, and I said, well, what about the lights I already have? Because I was using them back in the back bedroom, um, but, you know, Brad doesn't want, he, Brad does not like light. I like a little bit of light, because, uh, yes, I'm still uh, afraid of the dark a little bit, uh, um, and um, uh, Brad does not, is the opposite, he does not like any light or anything. So, of course, we weren't using them back there, you know, where he sleeps, and it's like, well, they're not being used. That would be perfect. They're LED because he was talking about, he said, well, why don't we get this set of lights? And I think it was only like $8, but you know, every penny count. And he said, he said because they'll use less electricity because they're LED. And when he said that, I'm like, I have LED lights. Because he's so right. You know, one of the things is we don't want to jack up our electric bill. So that's what we did, and I'm excited, and I really appreciate you helping me. Oh, no problem. You know, uh, that was fun to do, too, you know, and I've been able to be a little more active now just with the exercising and eating eating better and stuff, so I'm able to out there help more and stuff. You've been a lot more active. Have I? I've been moving around a lot more and stuff. I've really been, you know, uh, just making the best of it. So um, let's see what else. That was fun to do. Like I said, Brad's finishing that chicken cabbage soup. He's, he's cooking up half of a bag of uh, wheat noodles to put in it. It's got um, it's got some carrots, celery, onion, um, some mushroom, half a head of cabbage that I chopped up, chicken, you know, so that'll be this week's soup. Um, so that'll be good. And it smells so strong. The cabbage cooked in here right now. But I really hope it doesn't give me a bunch of gas. You know how cabbage will give you a bunch of gas? <laughs> you don't let Brad eat cabbage because it will give him such bad gas that you know, I'll be sleeping outside. I'm sure that they're thrilled to know that. I'm just thrilled to know that. And then tonight, you know, Saturday night isn't one night a week that I eat just something that maybe I'm really craving or something within limits and we are making so home homemade pizza on French bread. So that'll be nice to have tonight. Um let's see. Brad's still job searching. Not having any luck, so you know, cross your fingers, toes, whatever, pray, saying good vibes and stuff because we really do need to have that happen. Um uh I want to do some painting, and I'll probably do that after lunch, in fact. I find it's better if I sit and do some painting after lunch and stuff, because, and usually that's about the time that Brad likes to get on the computer, check his email, have some computer time and stuff, and that works out well for me. Is that what you want to do, hon? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Good. And um, then I would, of course, finish up that cowl tonight. Probably will do some listing tonight, um, you know, on that cowl. Uh, you know, a couple of different images and stuff. Um, so, uh, what else? Let's see. Well, two topics of, of the, today is, uh, if you're new, I always try to have every day some kind of a topic, you know. Um, and uh, of not letting yourself feel hopeless. What happened to me is we have a number of friends who are moving. Um, 
some have bought their first home or have bought a home or have found a different place to live. And because it's not happening for us, sometimes you start to feel a little hopeless. You're thrilled to death for them, don't get me wrong. You're thrilled to death. But you wish, you know, that it was you. I mean, that's human nature. But I have to work real hard on not letting uh, myself feel hopeless in it. Uh, you know, that it's not just, oh, it's never going to happen for us because, you know, we've had some setbacks and stuff, which is a part of life. So, we have to work hard on that um, because it's easy to feel very hopeless and feel like, you know, when things aren't going our way, we all get very frustrated. But, you know, I kind of equate what we're going through kind of like if you're getting married and you're planning a wedding. You have this idea. You have these idyllic scenarios in your head of how this wedding's going to be and how it's going to be perfect and and you work for months and months and months and then we all know no wedding ever goes as planned no party ever usually goes as planned any big event same thing with here because moving here everything hasn't gone as we planned doesn't mean it's a bad thing it just means it's life. It's Murphy's Law. We'll get through it. We have. We are. We're still laughing a lot, right? Yeah. We're still laughing a lot. He's sitting back there because, you know, got to make the most of the space we have. So you got to make the most of it and uh, not give up hope. It'll happen when it's supposed to happen. And I am thrilled for our friends that are moving. Um, you know, we have really good friends. Um... Uh, that moved, that lived in the same area of Wyoming we did and that we have been friends with, and they moved about four or five months before we did, and they were able to buy a house. They don't live in the same county we do here in, in Florida. Um, but um, they were able to buy a house and, and it, with a little bit of land and start, you know, They've been living in travel trailers um, on their, I think it's their uncle's property and stuff. And, and, you know, they have numerous dogs and stuff, too. So it's been hard stuff. And they have four children right now. They have more children than that, but four that are still at home. And um, I think all four of them are special needs. If not all four, at least three, I think, are special needs. And then my friend, she has some disabilities too so it's been a hard road for them but you know they're making it through and we're thrilled to death for them um you know and um uh our neighbor carl this is weird okay ghetto fabulous time here in the rv park all of a sudden he moves okay i mean just up and he lived here for over four years I'll send you side he found another RV park he thinks he'll like better, so he's moving. So he moved actually. Left this morning. So I hope you'll be happy. I mean uh, we, everybody was really surprised. All of a sudden he just and I mean this wasn't anything that he I mean he told everybody yesterday. I think it was just a very sudden thing, don't you, honey? Uh-huh. But you know, he's kind of erratic that way. He's I mean, you know. Yeah, he's kind of erratic that way. But, uh, so hopefully he'll be happier wherever he's going. Um, you know. Uh, but, um, the other topic was... Now, if you don't like any kind of cursing, then you might want to turn off now, or you might want to plug your ear. But the mindfuckery of people. Huh. And y'all know what I'm talking about. People talk... Up one side and down the other side. People that use people. You can always tell they're always angling to get something from somebody. I'm going to go off and make a call real quick. Okay, honey. Love you. Uh, love you, too. Um, but, yeah. Uh, they're out to use people. Or they're just out for what is, is out for them. And I'm not talking about anybody specific. I'm not talking about anybody in my life. I'm talking about in general life. It's kind of like, um, 
how an employer will, will you think you have a job. They talk, this is hap did happen to Brad last week, talk up and down crazy like you have the job, tell you what you need to go buy for the uniform, show you spreadsheets, schedules, show you around the place, everything, and then nothing. Nothing all of a sudden. Or people that act like they're going to do this, this, and this, and all of a sudden, you know, you find, you can just tell some people, it's like, they're aiming to get something from you. They're not just doing something because they, they, they care about you and they're your friend. And like I said, again, I'm not talking about anybody in my personal life, but, you know, we've all been used by people, and that's the crappiest feeling in the world. You know, and I was watching a, a fellow uh, friend's uh, video last night, and I'm not going to say who it is. Um, and I know they'd been very hurt by somebody who really used them, and, and they thought who was a really good friend, and find out, no, they were being used. And <coughs> I wanted to cry for this person. You could tell he was so hurt, and that's the hor most horrible feeling in the world is to feel like you were just being used, you know, you know, and I hope nobody ever feels that way from me, you know, I mean, none of us are perfect, but I'm not using anybody, um, I could probably sell a lot more stuff on Etsy, if I pushed it a lot more than I do, um, if I didn't probably give away as much stuff as I do. Um, but you know, that's the beauty about making things is when you can, like I told you guys, send somebody a virtual hug because you know they're having a hard time. It's not that they necessarily, I mean, nobody really necessarily needs, needs, needs the knitwear I make. I mean, unless you're, um, maybe, uh, you know, are homeless or, you know, maybe if you're donating for hospice or, um, you know, uh, that kind of thing, you know, or live in a cold weather state, but other than that, it's just, you know, like the decorative scarves, I mean, nobody needs, needs, needs those, except for sometimes you just need somebody to reach out and let you know that they're thinking of you and that they're caring, I tell you what, we hadn't lived here too long, maybe a month, month and a half, and I had, and I don't know who the person was, I think they live in Arkansas, they sent a card with twenty dollars and this was in June I remember sitting outside the post office crying in my car in the Jeep and Brad hugging me and he didn't even know why I just started you know tears just started running down my face and the thing was it was such a thoughtful gesture it was, felt like a virtual hug of somebody going hey I'm thinking about you. They had no idea that we were struggling so immensely hard. You know, that we were scraping together money to even be able to get eggs or anything else. But it was that virtual hug. Or when I open up the post office box and I have a card from one of you guys. Or a postcard. It just means the whole world. You know, I save all those cards and postcards. I tape them up around the inside of this RV because that's a lot of times what really helps us keep going and help me keep going is uh, you guys are so much like my family or are, have become my family, you know, and it just means so very much. So, um, don't give up. And don't ever think anybody doesn't care, um, because I tell you, I do. Um, I'm far from perfect. You guys all know that. Um, I keep it real. But I do care. And like I said, there's a lot more to be said in life than just making a whole lot of money. Um, like my husband and I have talked about, he said, you know, I'd rather have you just, just 
if you give away all your stuff you do and that's normally what I do is I will hold on to like when I'm making stocking caps I haven't made any in a while I'll probably start making some more but I have a number of them up on Etsy I have a bag of stocking caps ready for when our friend comes through this area because he bought I think like five of my paintings now and then I have this bag of stocking caps I'm donating um and uh you know, he said, you know, I'd rather see you just give the stuff away because you just enjoy making it so much. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. So, anyway, do you have anything to say? No? No. Okay. She, that was work that keeps calling me. That was Griner. Yeah? And, I know. And they're trying to get me to buy a car. And What? I know. And so I called her. Uh -huh. And she said she, every time she gets the voicemail, she thought the voice sounds familiar. And I told her, yeah, it's it's Brad that used to work there, and I'm down in Florida, and I'm not going to come in and buy a car. Yeah, wow, wow. wow. And Griner was sold anyway. They closed one dealership, and then they sold the other two. Yeah. You know, and we really we weren't at liberty to say anything. We've known for a few months, uh, but now it's public knowledge. You yeah. know, but yeah, they shut down. Uh, they sold. You know, and. Uh, that's how shady that place became. That's all I'm going to say about that. So anyway, um, you know, karma's, karma's a bitch and, you know. Anyway, uh, I just want you guys to know that we love you. And we do cherish your friendship. And I think you guys are awesome. And say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys. Have a great day.